Hello dear viewers, a very warm welcome to PC Instruments. My name is Lukas Ludwig and I would like to present you now the usage of the Cranescale PCCS 1000N. The Cranescale has two buttons. First of all in the top area the button to turn on and off as well as in the bottom area the button for the tara or zeroing. To turn the scale on use the top button. A sharp push of the button and the scale does a self test. Shows the maximum load of the scale, in this case 1000 kg, as well as the voltage indicator of the batteries. In this case, the scale shows 99, that is a percent part of the scale. After the start, we see a stable note displayed, whereby the stable display you can see here where a S for stable is shown. This display you can find in the middle. Left of the S there is a Z, Z stands simply for zero, for the zero in, means that every scale that hangs on it has a start from naught. In the right hand side you can see a K and a G, this is the weight unit kilogram. With the help of the remote control you can change this weight unit from kilogram for this we press the F2 button. You can see now pounds and UN. We will work now in kilograms so that I can explain the UN unit to you. First of all I hang a load onto it. As you can see a S appears in the display again means that the value is stable, means that this value is trustworthy and can be used for further measuring. And now when I press the F2 button again and change from kilogram to pounds, we have elf pounds as well as the UN is shown with a 10. The UN is a custom weight unit. I have simply put into the scale that it has to show me the double weight of the kilograms. Let's come to the explanation of the Tara and Zero. A short press of the Tara button appears left in the display area a T for Tara and the above weight the 5 kg disappear and a naught appears. Now when I add a further load in this case it is a further 5 kg I wait until the value is stable and although on the crane scale 10 kilos are hanging, the crane scale shows me 5 kilograms. This I can by a short press of the tarot button let it be shown. That means that is the gross value. The zero value is similar for the user identical because a longer pressing of the zero button causes also a knot in the display. But I can't change back this function, means that the load which is zeroed is not in the internal memory. The resolution of the crane scale is 200 gram, which means that the weight increases and decrease always is in the steps of 200 grams. Values below 200 grams are automatically rounded up or down. Now to shortly demonstrate this automatic zeroing, we leave the 5.6 kilogram hang on the crane, turn the scale off by pressing the on off button and turn it back on. After the so called self test phase, and as you can see the Z in the display and the value we saw before on the crane scale is simply ignored from the crane scale. IE0, the zero area can be freely set in an internal technical area. From here the automatic zero is done with 20% means that when I have the crane scale with a maximum load of 1000 kilos 
load with maximal 200 kilos, it is simply zeroed. An interesting function in this area is also the automatic zeroing of the crane scale can be deactivated. The crane scale has also a hold function, means that when I have a weight, a load, I can using the remote control freeze it in the display. For this there is a button on the remote control where a lock is on it. When I press this hold button in the display, a H is shown. And when I now take the load from the hook, the load stays still until I have made a note of it. By repeating the pressing of the hold button, it makes the weigh normal again, depending what I have in the hook. Because the crane scale is operated with batteries, I can the backlighting and the automatic turn off on the scale fit individu individually to my needs. For this we have an internal menu with which we can only operate using the remote control. For this we press on the remote control the triangle button as well as the lock key. And can now with the hold button move around in the menu. The first function is the automatic turn off of the crane scale. For demonstration purposes I have deactivated it. That is why we have here a note shown. I can though use the arrow keys on the remote set at 5 minutes, 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. Means that the usage time, what I set here, no weight differences happens or usage happens, the crane scale turns itself off to protect the batteries. The next setting possibility is the settings for the backlighting. I can here with the arrow keys for one turn off means turn the backlighting totally off. I can set the brightness with a one show, and two is middle and three is maximum. You can see clearly the difference. And this mirrors as well in the operating time. The next function in this area is simply the activation of the backlighting. Means when I have hung a weight onto the backlighting, it's activated and when not used anymore, it can deactivate itself. In, in my case, I have the backlighting always on. I can though set it that it is only on for 5 seconds. I only want to demonstrate it here. We have 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds. We'll set it at 5 seconds, go back to the normal weighing mode. So as you can see the backlighting is on. I hang now a load to it backlighting goes on and it takes around 5 seconds until the backlighting goes off. This helps naturally to save my batteries and to make the operation time extend. An interesting part of the crane scale is the service area. For this I press the triangle button three times on the remote control. We have the possibility to add a password. The password is in the user manual and has two levels. For one I can do the normal settings here. For example gravitation area or resolution the naught setting area which I explained earlier as well as the tar area. And there's another area where I can go into the calibration area. This is specially secured so that not everyone can change the settings. We will now in the operating area bring it a bit closer. In which we use in the arrow keys the password 258 Enter 
and confirm with the hall key. With the hall key we set in the internal menu as well. For example, I have here the resolution, I have here the terror area, I have here the stabling time, response time of the scale if it should react quickly or slowly, for the dynamic movement as well as the gravitation area. This G here left with the 9.81 is simply the middle value from Germany. It helps me the measured value which is shown from the calibration place to the site it is as to reckon. So if you move around inside of Germany you would have with the high probably the right values shown. Should you leave the land and move around in a different gravitation area, the weights are definitely shown differently. For us it's interesting this function. This function which I've already explained is the operator units. I'd like to show you here is the conversion factor 2. At the beginning of the video I've seen 5 kilos hung up. When I've set the weight unit to UN I had a 10 shown here, I would like to put it in the value of Newton simply by putting in 9.81. When I put in this conversion factor of 9.81 Newton I can now hang 5 kilos. Wait a moment for the stable display. Five kilogram, and with the remote press the F2 key, and that is 11 pounds, and correspondingly to my conversion factor 9.81, it is exactly 48.8 newton. The five kilogram. An interesting function of the crane scale is also the sum function, it means that I can add together several weighing in succession. You have five kilogram. I press the ACC key on the remote. This is shown short in the display so that I know that this value is taken over in the internal memory. When I now unload the crane scale, and load it with 10 kilos, I can through the summing of the load ACC on a remote press, ACC is shown in display, I can let show the whole mass. Before it was 5 kilo plus 10 are 15. The flashing is just to let me know this, that is my sum. I can by simply pressing the on off key on a remote. I can carry on with my normal weighing. And for example, a further load add to it. In this case, I put another 5 kilogram onto the crane scale. Press here again the ACC key. And can now in the display read the 20 kilo. I noticed that the last value was not correct because I forgot to add something. I can by using the delete key on a remote, the last win take back out. Then I have the sum using the F1 key on a remote displayed, the original 15 kilograms. 